Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a process video for you today for day 10 of Note to Self from By the Will for God. This day was written by Shannon and I have pulled out this hymnal paper um, because she quotes this song in her devotional that she wrote for this day talking about Jesus loves even me. And so I'm going to start pulling some elements to do this page. I have the fabric that um, you could get that coordinated with the kit and I originally have thought I was going to use this one that has all of our handwriting on it. Um, but in the, in the end, I end up changing that. But um, for now, that's just kind of where, where I'm going with this. Shannon is um, one of the lovely ladies that actually works in the uh, By the Will for God shop. So she um, she's doing all kinds of things all the time to help out around there. And so she does a lot of um, fabric cutting. She keeps keeps us all in line. I know she, um, in terms of the creative team, um, obviously I'm one of the newest members of the creative team. So I haven't, um, worked that with everybody as long, but, um, I know just from what I have experienced, you know, she, she keeps us in line, especially around like the launch of a new kit and everything. Um, when we're all trying to coordinate all of our, all of our, um, goodies and everything. So, um, she, she's always just been so, so very helpful. And so, um, I am kind of creating this page. I have decided to add some fabric. Um, I'm going to use this blue fabric instead, um, of the brown that I had pulled out. Um, I went with this really kind of busy background because I know that the By the Will for God shop is always a flurry of activity. I, um, I've not had the privilege of being there by myself, but I just know, um, just from talking with, with Lori and everything, like just their days are very full. Um, and they cram a lot into their days to provide all of these beautiful things for us. And so, um, I wanted to kind of have sort of like a busier background. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's really how my mind was really working for this day. So I have this beautiful floral pattern paper, um, that came that, you know, coordinated with the kit. I'm just going to kind of add some little, ruffles of this beautiful fabric down the the sides here and I'm just kind of I can't really sew this because I didn't want to have the stitching um on the on the back side if I would have thought about it I could have sewed this to the paper before I glued the paper down but uh, I just wasn't thinking in that way but that would have been a way that I could do it so instead I'm just kind of creating these little um fake ruffles and I so I ran some adhesive down the edge and I'm just kind of folding my um my fabric here and then I'm going to come back in with some glue I'm using uh Helmar 450 quick dry you could use Fabri-Tac or whatever um and I'm just kind of running a little thin bead of that and then I'm going to um, hold the pleat over so it's going to have some just kind of you know rustic ruffles I guess would be the best way to explain it but um so this is kind of the way I'm getting that ruffle look without having to actually run my little sewing machine along there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do that exact thing over here on the right side. And um, to kind of tone down some of the busyness just a little bit, I want to add this file folder. So um, I'm doing this in one of the, the neutral colors. And I'm trying to keep, you know, my pages pretty much up until this point have either a file folder or an envelope on them. Um, and kind of the same repeating elements just to tie everything together. So at this point, I, uh, I have pulled out a Tim Holtz little mini clip and I was going to use this to, um, to paper clip the flashcards, the one that says steadfast to the front of this little file folder. And then I remembered that I had written scripture on the back of this. And so, which wouldn't be the end of the world. You could just pull it out and still be able to see it. But I, in the end, I kind of change things up a little bit but I'm just kind of leaving the process in here so you can kind of see how things sort of change and evolve as I'm working so you can see I have my scriptures written out I have a journaling card with some scripture and notes and another little tag with um even more scripture on there as well and so I'm gonna kind of just mess around um and try to decide how I want everything I was trying to get everything into this little um file folder and then I decided that um I needed to kind of dress up the little file folder a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I, I knew I wanted to use this hymnal page because it was uh, quoted in her 
devotional. And so what I'm going to do is I'm taking a Yoohoo glue stick and I'm randomly kind of just um, applying that on the front part of this file folder. And I'm going to just put the chorus of this hymn on the front of it. And then I'm going to set this aside to dry. That way I can kind of tear off the edges. I've done that before on my channel. And um, just to get it kind of a, a more organic look. Um, and then I decided that on this page, I just, I needed another little pocket. So I'm going to actually create an envelope. Um, I've done this before on other videos as well. Like I said, I'm trying to keep, you know, an envelope or, or a file folder. In this instance, I'm going to be using one of each. Um, and I'm using that same little We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. This is the mini one. I have the bigger size as well. This one just does um, a better job with the smaller envelopes. You can get um, teeny tiny ones. So um, you the, there's a guide on this tool that tells you what size to cut your paper to depending on what you want your finished um, envelope size to be. And so um, I just went through there and then you just kind of score and punch and score and punch and then when you get all the way around you just fold your pieces in and you have your little envelope and somehow I I missed um I got mine just a little bit crooked and I messed up this top part here so the way that I'm going to fix that um where that bottom flap kind of folds up is I'm just going to cut that straight across more like a uh, normal envelope would be um and then when I glue it down, it, you just won't be able to see, you won't be able to notice that I had messed up the, somehow I got it crooked when I was doing the, um, the punching of it. So, and I just added a little bit of glue, added a little bit of distress. I, um, all of the pieces, the, the journaling pieces and everything I have been distressed with, um, archival ink and ground espresso. Um, so I did that as well, um, with this envelope and now I'm just kind of trying to decide again how I want all of these little pieces to to be I want to create a little label here that has the title for this day which is Jesus loves even me and uh, this was such a good day a good reminder that you know sometimes we we can think that we we kind of count ourselves as unworthy or that we, you know um but that isn't the Lord's heart at all and so he loves us and you know this um this day was just a really good reminder that there's nothing that you can encounter that you know God's love cannot reach down and all we have to do is just continually seek him and you know if we mess up we can ask for forgiveness and we have that privilege so um anyway I I'm just now ripping off the excess of this hymnal here and you can see it just kind of left behind this really organic organic <laughs> sorry um paper edge here and I went ahead and distressed just a little bit around there with um some just whatever ink was actually on my little makeup sponge just to kind of soften the edge of that just a little bit and then um, I'm going to put Shannon's picture over the top of that and then I will put my little flashcards in the envelope kind of tuck, tucked in there and then I have my tag um tucked behind is I'm going to create like a little pocket again with that file folder just to kind of um because that tag is pretty tall so I added just a little bit of glue in the middle of Shannon's picture here and that's because I, I have a feeling I want to tuck some things behind there I just kind of wanted to dress up this um little file folder e even more but I didn't want to take away too much from um from you know the hymnal I want that to kind of be the focus because again it was in her devotional so I added another one of my little red um, paper clips from Felicity Jane just um just to add something to the envelope honestly and then I pulled out from my stash I have um a, some vintage postage stamps and so I know that um Shannon does a lot of time of like she's the one that works on all of our um our orders when a new re kit releases and that kind of stuff and so um I wanted to include a little postage stamp and a label here so this is just um, a vintage stamp it's like a five cent stamp and um then I'm going to add this little Tim Holtz label back there as well just to add just another little layer and some more interest back there and then that will be pretty much it for the um 
for the file folder and then I wanted to add a little bit more interest to my little envelope as well so I'm pulling one of these um, stickers from by the will for God with the typewriters on it and I'm just lining this up um, right in the middle here and then I'm going to take my bone folder and burnish the sticker down um, doing that with clear stickers just kind of helps it um, kind of melt into the paper a little bit better so you don't see that kind of hazy edge around the outside of it so I have adhered my label with the title and now I'm going to glue down my envelope and I'm just going to glue the whole thing down um, as if it's open I could have left it, you know, closed or whatever, but I'm just going to glue the whole thing down that way. And then when I glue down my file folder, I'm going to be careful to leave enough space there around my paper clip so that I can still, you know, pull that on and off. And then um, I did just the outsides so that I can create a little pocket here for my little, um, my tag. That tag is just one that I've had in my stash. I added some more of that fabric to the top of that. And then it's just going to tuck back in there and it has some more scriptures and stuff on there. So that does it for me. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.